Welcome back to the Cordis Vacuum Guide, and in this video, I'll compare the Dreamy L10S Ultra and Roborock S7 Max V Ultra in detail. These robot vacuum slash mop hybrids have do-it-all base stations with pad washing and self-emptying features, making them excellent autonomous options for your mopping and vacuuming needs. While these robots are similar in this aspect, their designs vary greatly, and we'll look at these to determine which is the better option for your needs. I've tested these robots extensively to determine their strengths and weaknesses, so let's get into this video. Robot vacuum technology has matured over the past 10 years, and these brands are the pinnacle of this technology, combining features previously available in different products. Specifically, I'm talking about the pad washing and self-emptying features, adding an element of autonomy absent in other brands. Not many brands combine these features because of the complexity and cost requirements. Not even big brands like iRobot have this feature. Roborock and Dream are among the few brands with this combination. While both have the same versatile do-it-all base stations, their designs are distinct. Roborock's design is unique since it has the water tanks and bag lineup in a row. While Dream's version isn't since other brands like Ecovax use the same framework with two water tanks on the top and the bag in the middle. This alignment makes Roborock's base station wider, consuming more horizontal space, while Dreamy's base station is taller, but with a thinner profile. Both have a pad washing feature, but with different mechanisms for the task. Dream uses a rib contraption where the pad spins against to agitate and dislodge debris, while Roborock uses a bristle attachment that moves from side to side. Of the two, Roborock's design is more unique, something I haven't seen in other brands. Dreamy's design is more common and can be seen in other brands like the Ecovax X1 and Narwhal T10. I like the Roborock design because it uses stiff bristles and the option to control the agitation speed, something absent in the Dream L10S, but that's just my preference. Even after several mopping cycles with sticky stains, the S7 Max V pad doesn't look mucky. One advantage for the Dream L10S Ultra design is there's no need to replace the ribbed contraption since it's pretty sturdy and should last the robot's lifetime, whereas the bristled brush of Roborock will eventually wear out. However, Dreamy's pad washing feature isn't as good since it uses a ribbed component to scrub the pads, which doesn't have the same agitation as the Roborock S7 Max V's bristles going from side to side. Another advantage of the Dreamy Bot L10S Ultra is it has a larger bag capacity of 3 liters. 0.5 liters more than the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, providing consumers with longer bag replacement intervals and potentially saving more long term. This is the most significant downside of the horizontal positioning of Roborock's water tanks and bag. The Roborock S7 Max V Ultra has a larger clean and dirty water tank capacity at 3 and 2.5 liters, respectively, compared to the Dreamy's 2.5 and 2.4 container volumes but the Dream L10S has a slot for the cleaning solution container, making disbursement automatic and not a manual process, so advantage to Dream in this category. Both options use a ramp-style dock, providing a solid base for the robot to sit during the self-emptying cycle and preventing alignment issues present in vertical ports. Another variance is the port size and location. The Roborock S7 Max V Ultra uses the robot's brush roll as the port, allowing them to use a larger slot enabling more debris to flow through a larger space. Dream's port is behind the robot and noticeably smaller, but equally efficient at emptying debris from the robot's dustbin. Both have a top-mounted dustbin, with the S7 Max V having more capacity at 400 ml compared to Dreamy's 350 ml volume. The 50 ml variance isn't a lot, and for self-emptying robot vacuums, it shouldn't be a factor because of the auto-empty feature. Another similarity is the bristleless nature of the brush roll with the bladed design with varied orientations. Roborock uses slightly angled straight fins wrapping around the roller, and Dreamy's brush has a V-shaped pattern. I'd give the edge to Roborock in the brush roll design since it picked up a higher percentage in all surface debris tests despite the lower airflow. It made cleaner passes even with hard-to-clean items like sand. The S7 Max V got higher scores because it had better brush roll dynamics, enabling it to funnel more dirt towards the vacuum inlet, making it more efficient. It also picked up more hair in both 5 and 7 inch experiments because again, it has a better brush roll design and seal, enabling it to pick up a higher percentage. 
These numbers are backed up by the eye test, as there's less hair wrapping on the Roborock S7 Max V brush row compared to this much by the Dreamy L10S. However, deep cleaning results are similar, with the Roborock S7 Max V and Dreamy L10S Ultra picking up the same percentage. These figures confirm the low airflow nature of these robots, so don't rely on either solely for cleaning carpets. The Roborock S7 Max V Ultra and Dreamy L10S Ultra utilize LiDAR or a laser distance sensor. Both will navigate similarly, starting the run vacuuming the edges before moving towards the middle portions. These robots are efficient with navigating around tight quarters and did well in the coverage test, completing a two-pass run in around 20 minutes. Both are efficient at debris pickup during this experiment, getting nearly every crumb by the second pass. Map creation is also fast-tracked through the mapping run available in the respective apps. This feature takes advantage of LiDAR's 360-degree scanning ability to create maps in a fraction of the time compared to a normal run. Another similarity is the three-pass run, available through the selective room cleaning and zone cleaning features. Dreamy is the second brand I've tested with this feature, adding a layer of thoroughness not available with most other brands. These robots use similar sensors for obstacle avoidance, a front-facing camera, and lasers flanking them. One variance is that the S7 Max V Ultra has an LED below the camera to help illuminate its path, helping it see obstacles even in dark areas. I believe Roborock added it because the camera doubles as a CCTV, something absent in the Dreamy L10S. Whether this is a helpful feature will depend on your views on home privacy, but that's another topic. With obstacle avoidance, I'd give the S7 Max V the edge because its algorithm is smart enough not to let the robot get too close. It was better at avoiding coiled wires and pet feces, something that the Dreamy L10S struggled with because it gets too close, increasing the risk of touching these objects. Also, the Roborock app shows photos of the obstacles it sees during the run, while the Mi Home app does not, but only a graphic of the obstacle type. These robots have mopping functionality as a supplement to the vacuuming features. Both have agitating elements, making them efficient at cleaning stains, but their designs vary. The Dreamy L10S Ultra uses two spinning pads behind the robot for agitation, while the Roborock S7 Max V uses a single pad with a vibrating element in the middle. Since Dreamy uses two spinning pads, it doesn't have a water tank inside the robot. It relies on a pre-soak cycle where the base station disperses water and cleaning solution to the pad to saturate, depending on your desired setting. Please note that this pre-soak cycle is only available through the mopping only function. While the S7 Max V doesn't have this limitation since it has an in-robot water tank, the Roborock S7 Max V has the same pre-soak cycle to saturate the pads, but one difference is the orientation. Its camera faces the base station when docking, and during the pre-soak cycle, the robot comes out of the dock, makes a U-turn, then backs up towards the base station for the pre-soak cycle. I mention this quirk because Roborock's orientation allows access to the dustbin even when the robot is docked, which isn't the case with Dreamy since you'll need to pull the robot out to open the top door. As with the mopping performance, both are efficient at removing stains and getting everything out after the first pass. Both have a mop lift feature where their pads lift when it detects carpet. It's only a slight lift, so I don't recommend either on plush carpets. Despite their mopping proficiency, one issue with these robot mops is it cannot pick up liquid. So I don't recommend using either for mopping large quantities of sticky stains because of the residue accumulation on the surface afterward. It's not specific to these products, but to every robot mop that cannot pick up liquid. These robots have smartphone apps helping consumers automate their vacuuming and mopping functionalities, making these products autonomous for long stretches. Dreamy L10S owners will have two options, the Dreamy Home app or the Mi Home app. But I don't recommend the former because it's still in its beta stage and it lacks functionality, so download the Mi Home app since it has all the features. I'll focus on the most helpful features of these apps to save time, comparing different aspects to help you decide whether these will affect your decision. Both apps have a live map showing the robot's location in real time. The grid lines on the map provide consumers with information on the areas it has cleaned. A 3D map is also available for the Roborock S7 Max V and Dreamy L10S to give consumers a different perspective in viewing the map. 
based on what I've seen, Roblox version is more functional because it's integrated into the main interface, so consumers can easily access this feature. Another advantage of this integration is other map features like containment integrate seamlessly. Dreamy's 3D map integration is clunkier with no added benefit rather than just being there. As I've said earlier, these apps have a mapping run to fast track the map creation process since the robot doesn't have to go through every nook and cranny. Both apps have a map saving feature with the option to save up to four levels. And this feature unlocks other benefits like containment, selective room cleaning, zone cleaning, and more. The containment features of these robots are similar. Both have access to invisible walls and no-go zones. Invisible wall enables consumers to set up virtual walls through the app. One aspect I like with a virtual wall is the option to draw diagonal lines, helping users block off more areas, increasing customization options. No-go zones allow consumers to draw boxes or rectangles to prevent the robot from entering into these areas. Both have the crisscross pattern available only in the selective room cleaning and zone cleaning features. The three-pass run is also available if the extra pass is needed for a more thorough clean. Consumers can also adjust the power and mop settings through the app. However, there will be variances because of the design differences. The Roborock app doesn't have a pad saturation setting like Dreamy to simplify the interface since it has an in-robot water tank. Folks can adjust the scrub intensity and navigation settings accordingly. And I'd keep it at these settings for the best results. Both have four power settings, but there isn't much variance with the airflow numbers in the low and max settings as these robots rely mostly on agitation to pick up debris. So I'd keep it in the higher settings again for the best results. Before I end this comparison, I'll share other test results to give consumers more data to ponder upon. In the noise test, the Dreamy L10S is the quieter option across the board despite having more airflow, only maxing at less than 64 decibels, compared to the S7 Max-V's output of over 70 decibels. The Dreamy L10S will run longer at 210 minutes at the lowest setting, 30 minutes more than the Roborock S7 Max-V, despite using the same 5200 mAh lithium-ion battery. But the 30-minute disparity is negligible since these robots are highly efficient Plus, it has the recharge and resume feature that negates any discrepancy. Also, map creation will be done quickly thanks to the mapping run that completes a task in a fraction of the time compared to a traditional run. Overall, despite some feature shortcomings, the Dreamy L10S Ultra held up well against the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra. Yes, Roborock got a higher percentage in the cleaning experiments, but the difference isn't that significant to be a red flag. Both were efficient with navigation and completed a two-pass run in around 20 minutes, picking up nearly everything. So these are excellent options even in large homes where proficient navigation is critical. Even with the design variations, both are equally good at mopping stains, getting everything out after one pass. But the Roborock S7 Max-V is much better at obstacle avoidance with its more advanced algorithm not allowing the robot to get too close. It's much better at avoiding pet feces and wires based on tests. Besides obstacle avoidance, pad washing, and surface debris cleaning, these robots are close in other facets. So the question is, can these advantages negate the price differences of these robots? Answering that question will determine which option you select. If you've made it this far, I'd like to say thank you and consider giving this video a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you. It goes a long way in growing this channel and reaching more consumers. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new comparisons like this. Links are in the description below for more information about the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra and the Dreamy L10S Ultra. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.